Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, we go going to talk about 5G and communication between cars, communication between cars and people and uh, road infrastructure. And as you may already know, 5G is not only uh, a huge story about people, about VR, about um, uh, new mobile broadband, uh, things and services, yes. 5G is also about things, uh, about uh, building it and out of uh, things ecosystem. And I believe that a part of it will be done via communicating uh, using uh, mobile networks, using 4G, 5G networks. So, uh, Let's suppose we have uh, a group of cars, a group of tracks on the road. Uh, let's suppose this may be a Volvo tracks or, or smart uh, Tesla tracks, it doesn't matter. So uh, this track have a leader team, have a, um, a creator of this uh, platooning. So cars uh, can have a low, uh, can have a short distance in order to uh, reduce uh, fuel consumption. Cars uh, can communicate with each other via vehicle to vehicle uh, interfaces and protocols. Uh, and uh, the main reason why we have to uh, have such communication between cars is to uh, is to reduce the number of traffic jams, is to make uh, our roads more optimized and more effective and more uh, safer place. Uh, so communication between cars is ve vehicle to vehicle but the main car, the, the leader track, can communicate with a roadside unit. Roadside unit is a part of a 4G or 5G network. It is a kind of a little base station, uh, kind of a retransmitter to um, increase reliability and coverage potential. And this roadside unit, uh, such equipment, uh, then communicate receive and transmit information uh, with uh, 4G and 5G networks. So, uh, this communication will be named as vehicle to infrastructure communication because roadside unit may be implemented to uh, traffic lights or uh, some traffic infrastructure along the road. So, uh, when we have a group of uh, such tracks, we uh, can add a new car or uh, reduce number of cars. And all of this will be done by uh, the leader car. All of this will be done via V2V uh, interfaces. This interface may be a 4G or 5G. I mean, maybe uh, kind of uh, upon 4G or 5G uh, wireless stack. So, uh, of course, such communication should be very reliable because uh, some messages may relate to uh, warning messages, some announcement on the road, uh, because some traffic management centers can send their data to a uh, network, to roadside unit and to the entire group. Uh, and some communication, some mes messages may be related to uh, human life because we can have communication between not only cars but also between car and people, pedestrian. Uh, not exactly cars and people, but probably cars and some wearable things such as smart watches or smart glasses. And again, uh, 
there are maybe some uh, strong requirements for uh, reliability, for security, some messages. Of course, uh, V2V -V communication should be done only uh, within a line of sight. Uh, this will only increase uh, the uh, secu security of such messages. And uh, this type of communication between cars and uh, road infrastructure will give us uh, some potential to use remote uh, driving when we, when we have a human operator somewhere uh, aside for a mobile network and using mobile network communication we can uh, remotely operate not only um, by one car, we can remotely operate the whole group of cars. And this, of course, will reduce the number of uh, drivers, the number of um, uh, some uh, other operators. Uh, and uh, again, it's all about money. <laughs> so, uh, there are possible there are of course maybe some, uh, there are maybe some different requirements because uh, some communication some messages um, maybe just uh, for announcement yeah and uh, uh, they may be uh, transmitted via 4g network but some uh, high loaded uh, messages from sensors, from uh, Full HD cameras. They, of course, should be transmitted and received via 5G networks. And I believe that in most of the cases, in 5 and 10 years, uh, will be used 5G network. But for some first steps uh, to creating uh, such uh, cases, uh, will be used 4G network, definitely. And um, let's suppose that the group of cars is going to out of 5G car. It is possible to maintain V2V -V connection between cars uh, using 5G coverage. So, uh, in this part of uh, communication, will be hand over to 4G network, yes, as the whole group is out of 5G coverage. But uh, this range, this range, this range will be uh, still, uh, will be still considered as a device to device communication. So uh, there is no uh, need for network uh, and uh, V to V communication will be done, will be still uh, supported by 5G uh, network capabilities, uh, protocols and radio stacks. So uh, this is one probably of a benefit of uh, using 4G and 5G networks. And of course, um, 5G is more suitable. 5G um, he will uh, give us more cases, more uh, different options. And I believe that uh, 5G will, will be definitely uh, considered as a revolution for remote driving, for self-driving cars, for uh, such uh, platoon uh, cars. So, um, it was my short uh, video, it was my short basic uh, introduction about 5G communication between cars and people and infrastructure. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe. And in my next videos, I'm going to tell you about what should be done, what should be implemented in a radio network, in core network to support all of these communications to uh, support, support roadside unit equipment. Um, what uh, is uh, from the uh, radio stack standpoint, 
what is it uh, v2v uh, standards and protocols uh, what changes uh, here inside as a device to device communication so um, stand by with iot understanding channel goodbye